guys. Um, I'm excited to tell you about my new product here that I have. I'm super excited about this. This is actually my favorite thing I've ever put together. I've had this idea for many years and I'm so excited that I that I did it. And um, this is my, I call this a photo journal book. Um, and it's kind of a cross between a magazine and a photo book. It's gonna be a quarterly publication. And it's basically a collection of my photography from uh, that quarter of the year. So as many of you know, I take a lot of pictures around Destin, um, sometimes on the outskirts of Destin, like Okaloosa Island, 38, Miramar Beach, well, often on those outskirts. Um, and so this is just a collection of all my photos from that time. I don't um, post many photos on my social media anymore. I post mostly videos, but I still take a lot of photos and I photograph events and things like that. So this is just something that I wanted to do to put them together. Um, and I just like this way of viewing photos better than social media to have them in print. So I thought, why not do a little collection here? And the on these photos, everything has a date, everything has a caption and sometimes I tell a little story about the photo. And so this one, this is, um, this, this is April, May, and June. Uh, so normally I would have it out like a week after June ends, but uh, this took a little longer because it was my first one and it took me a little time to, I had a lot to learn to put this together. But, um, but the next one will be July, August, September. And so then that'll come out like, you know, a week or two after, after September ends. And so, yeah, it's just something to flip through and look at. Um, I try to kind of tell about the photos, give a little caption, give some information. And um, again, uh, most of the photos in here have not been posted ever like anywhere. So, and then in the next issue, July, August, and September, I'm already working on that issue. And none of those photos have been posted anywhere. And there's some really great ones um, in the next one. There's good ones in here, great ones in all around. <laughs> I love photography and um, I just, for me, social media is just not my favorite platform to share them. So that's why I came up with this. Um, and I also think people can see this better and it's more fun to flip through. And it's just kind of a way to collect, you know, years down the road, then you've got pictures of Destin how it was years ago because I'm just changes so often um and then uh but it's so it's kind of so like I said it's kind of a cross between a photo book and a magazine it's a photo book in the sense that it is high quality premium paper and uh it's not like thin magazine paper this is like a premium quality uh photo book paper and then it's also more like a photo book in the sense that there's there's no advertising or anything in this and there's no um it's not a magazine in that sense it's a magazine in the sense that it's a regular publication and then also that everything's dated and i do give some information and stuff so just an example i'll quickly flip through here the first page is always going to be kind of like a letter from me this one i talk about how this came about and i just just wrote i'll just write whatever whatever I feel like writing. I did write a lot on this one because I was really excited. Um, but, uh, cause I've just, I've just wanted to do this for so long and I will be putting together back issues as well from my photography. You can either buy a single issue on Amazon. I'll have the single issues. Um, this one's, this one's already up on Amazon. Um, and so single issues on Amazon and, or you can get a subscription through me, which is an annual subscription. It doesn't auto renew or anything like that. Like right now, 2022 is on my website for sale. That link is in this post. And some people found out about it and already bought this issue. And so if that's the case, I have an option for 2022 to either buy the next two or to buy all three. And 2022 is prorated because there's only gonna be three issues in 2022 because I started, <laughs> I started in April. And so, um, and then after that, it'll be like 2023, there'll be four issues. It's $99 for a year. If you do an annual subscription, you get, um, you get a free gift. 
and I'll, I'll flip through the magazine in a second but this is and this is only if you order through me not for single issues on Amazon but with every with every annual subscription I'll be sending them straight from me the magazines and like um, this one like you'll get so you'll get a free gift which is gonna be one of my note cards with a photo on it the photo will be my favorite photo from that issue and on the inside I haven't written anything but on the inside I'll write a little bit about the photo and um, why it's my favorite and just anything about it so this you guys might remember I haven't posted these rainbow pictures from July but I posted a video on social media that was really popular but I never posted the photos and I have several and so these are definitely going to be in the next issue of the magazine which I'm excited because nobody's seen them and um, this is how this looks you can get a frame like a five by seven frame so that's how it looks framed um, in a frame that's meant for you can, it's a four by six photo um, but then you can get a five by seven frame because it's got the little border so just that's how it looks. those are two different um, shots of the same rainbow but um, so so yeah and just quickly flip through this to get an idea and I did all this myself um, all the formatting, all the design, everything is done. Everything that I ever do in my business is always just me. Um, I don't have, I don't, I don't get help. <laughs> um, and so, uh, so anyway, I start, I've got my letter and then I've got, and then all the photos, they don't necessarily go in order because I wanted to, sometimes they went together and they wouldn't have been from the same day, but like they've all got a date and like every photo has a date and a caption and like this one's talking about you know this is just some of di this is the different CEO it's in the same spot but a few months apart and so you can kind of see the, the growth so just stuff like that if I have a little story to tell about the photo then I tell it got an osprey carrying off a fish and got a full moon um so I just kind of tell about it there's no advertising in this magazine it but sometimes I tell stories and um but that's just if I if I if there's something I want to talk about I'll tell the story um like maybe it'll be a boat or a captain or something but here's some baby ducks because these will be in the spring there's a little guy jumping you can see in midair so these are all the little kind of details that I think get missed on on a phone screen and so that's why I wanted to put this together and like this um like you can see all the boat names on those boats but you wouldn't be able to make that out on a phone screen um but that's very sharp and clear there we've got charter boats silver lining out of line boat up huntress seahorse miza and then we've got a beach picture um i take more beach pictures in the fall and winter actually because the sunrise and sunsets over the water and there's less people um but i i there was some in this magazine like this was a cold windy april day and i talk about that because we have some of these days in april and the lifeguards all bundled up and um uh then you've got the red flag and i just kind of talk about that and then this was a harbor sunset i name all the boats here everything's got a date and that's the other thing i like about that this versus social media is because on social media you you don't most people only post like the really good pictures of destin and um clear blue water and all that stuff but you never know when it was taken or um and i try to always say when something's taken and this this um photo journal is no different uh dates and then here this was that sargassum seaweed that was here in may so i talk a little bit about that and how the birds have carried off for their nest and um kind of what happened there and got a nice little sunrise with it there so it's the good the bad the everything um this was just a morning out on the fishing pier i'm gonna talk about that um this was fireworks at Baytown. This was the spring break um, fireworks. And then, the, well, this was Memorial Day. It was my friend Alan Pyro guy. Uh, so I just tell a little bit about that. So there's there's information in there too. You know, if I have something to, to share, I'll share it. This and then um, Blessing of the Fleet was in May. I didn't post any of my Blessing of the Fleet photos, but I took hundreds of photos at Blessing of the Fleet. And so this is just something that I can do with the photos and so like here's the finest kind boat and i loved this picture because how he had his hands um waving at the pastors there on the dock so and then i talk a little bit about the event it's every year um 
and then I just pulled out my favorite photos and if there was a detail I had I like Miss Destin was on this boat on Game On and you can see her there and then got done deal unreal hundred proof this one I loved because <laughs> the people are up top but the only the only person on the back on the back of the boat waiting for the blessing is the dog <laughs> so um, I just kind of pointed that out and then you got relentless first light destination no alibi see fix boat up good times um it just kind of goes on real grace fifth day discipleship i mentioned uh captain brandy she's our she's our awesome female uh charter boat captain on destin harbor and then we've got deep obsession just right get the gaff um goes on real chill um, and again, none of this is advertising. Um, I just pick the photos that I like the best and I tell about them. Um, sometimes it's just a caption. Sometimes it's a little more like here's Alleluia commercial fishing boat. And um, there's actually a documentary about them where you can follow them out on a deep sea fishing trip. And they're, they get a lot of the fish in Destin that ends up at your restaurants and things. And um, they also have a seafood store so it was a really good documentary so i just put a link and again this is not an advertisement they don't even know i didn't they don't know that this is here um i just the picture i just wanted to tell tell about that and i put a qr code to watch the documentary for free um well, it's on the discover it's on amazon too but it's also you can watch it for free on discover florida channel um, and then you've got, these are some of the tour boats, um, Destin Snorkel, Sea Blaster, um, Emerald Coast Scuba, the Party Boat American Spirit. Uh, this is the company I featured on the cover. And again, these are just decisions I made. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, none of these boats or anything, nobody, I don't, they don't know they're, they'll, you know, if, if they see this, then they'll find out they're in here. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's just a collection of my photography and I say that because you have to be when you're when you're watching things or when you're consuming media and all that stuff you always kind of want to know that because you want to know um, but I just I just want you to know all my information is always unbiased it's um, uh, and this is no different so um, so then we've got so yeah this is the company I chose for the cover just because I like the image and I felt it, it I and I like their story um this is Michaela and she started this company with what just one little boat and some coconuts going out to Crab Island selling her uh, drinks and now they've expanded um to more stuff several boats several people and then the other interesting thing about this story is that's um is that her father is one of the pastors giving them the blessing at blessing of the fleet so I just told a little about that and again, just because that's what I wanted to tell. And then this is, um, then I talk a, a little bit about how Blessing the Fleet now includes the tour boats too, like this parasailing boat, Pelican Adventures. And um, he's waving at the pastors. So that was a cool pick. And then here, you know, just like some rare driftwood that washed up in Destin, very rare. Um, and a storm. And so yeah, some sunsets, jetties, all these are dated, all these. Um, this, oh, this is the Emerald Coast Blue Marlin Classic start. And so uh, this, there's a dolphin in this picture. I did post this picture on social media and actually the, um, the captain of this boat uh, ordered this in a metal print and I don't have it in my hand yet, but it's gonna be really cool, I imagine, so. I love that people might see these photos and and think that they want them on their wall. And so I'm excited to see that. I tell a little bit about the tournament. This is the start line and they all take off at a shotgun start. And again, I took so many pictures this day. This was the only one I posted on social media. I think that was the last photo I posted on social media. That was in June. Um, and so then here's some of my other pictures and then I just, everything's got a date, everything's got a description. Here's some of the tour boats kind of trying to come through the start line just quickly. So that's, that gives you an idea. This was a private fireworks show at Sam Destin and at Sunset, a couple other fireworks, of course. And then in the back here, I've got where 
you can scan here to order if, if there's any prints in there that that any photos that you want to print of maybe you like it or maybe it's your boat or maybe it's something that you're in and you want to order a print you can do that right from this qr code and then you can also shop my other stuff contact me order the order a subscription or the next magazine and um and subscribe to my email so um that's the book Individual copies are $24.95 or an annual subscription is $99. Again, the benefit of the annual subscription is that, um, number one, you can get it for a gift, which you can't do that with single issues. Well, you could. You could order it on Amazon and have it shipped to them. But if you order um, an annual subscription, I'll send you like a gift certificate that you can give as a gift and then I can send it. So like if you want to order a 2023 subscription for Christmas for people, I'll be given out free gift certificates for that. And then also the ones in the annual subscription come directly from me. So you do get the, the free gift of the photo. So you'll get four of these a year. Um, again, this is just a, you know, just a regular frame I picked up. So, so they're not gonna be framed. They'll come in an envelope like this with a writing in there. And then, um, and again, the, you know, I've told a few people about this and everybody that I've told has, subscribed and I that makes me so happy it makes me think that other people are as excited about this as I am and not sure if I mentioned but I'm going to also go back and make back issues because I wish I'd started this when I had the idea four or five years ago um but sometimes we have ideas and you know we have self-doubt or we think or maybe one person makes a comment that you tell and it doesn't get it or or you just doubt yourself or for whatever reason don't put it together and so it feels really good that I did put it together and that um the people that I've told have been really excited about it and so I'm excited about it I put the link in the caption for um how to order a subscription and um for 2022 it's prorated they're not gonna renew I think I said that they're not gonna renew but 2022 is prorated and so, cause there's only going to be three issues in, in 2022. So you can get that on my website for $74. Or if you've already gotten this issue with some people, which some people, some people did find it, uh, even though I had, this is my first time announcing it. But so if you already got it, you can also order just the, the next two. Um, and so let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm super excited about it. Thank you guys so much. This is, um, uh, photography is I think all photographers feel the pain of, you know, that it's social media just at times doesn't feel like the same platform that it used to be for it because it's just, um, it more favors video contents. And then also now that everybody's on the small phone screens, it's just kind of hard to see the details. And um, they're just, and a lot of, you know how social media is, a lot of the content doesn't get seen at all. So, so I'm so excited to share my photography in this way. And I already have, um, a few subscribers so I'm already doing this that um, I told I told my friend that when I started this that if I have one subscriber I'm gonna be so excited to go out because um, because also this is for me this is a way to catalog my photos and to keep keep journals of them and put them on my shelf and look back at my work over the years and because I just I just get a lot of joy out of the photography and um, but I don't really um, but social media is just not really where I want to share them anymore. This is where I want to share them. This is how I want them viewed. And this is how, this is, I'm so excited about it. So yeah, I told my friend, if, even if I just have one subscriber, I'm so super motivated to go out and shoot for that one subscriber and tell those stories. And, and I actually, I want to do better than even this. When I took all these pictures, I had no idea I was going to put this together. I decided to do it after because my friend liked the idea and <laughs> she subscribed <laughs> for her mom. So, um, so I was like, Oh, okay. I have my subscriber. Uh, so that's anyway. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much. If, um, if, if you like this, if you subscribe, if you support my photography in any way, I really super appreciate it. And let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything. Thank you guys.